So. Alrighty, so, sorry about that, guys. Um, it got a little crazy, and um, got a little busy, but we're back. We're about to get upstairs, or on the ladder. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're about to get this, we're about to get this camera angle started, guys. Had to get lunch. Traffic was uh, a little bit longer than expected, but, we're situated. We're situated now. All right, let's get this thing going. All right, all right, we good. We didn't miss too much. Jason Ball back at it again. Right, it seemed like Evan Essenberg was playing today. I thought he was going to play, but. Ooh, easy catch with my man Max taking out JT. James Turner, number 10. Yeah, so I thought S wasn't going to play today, but I think after that big loss against Penn State 6 to 3, he was like, yeah, I got to step in. Definitely got to step in for sure. There we go. Wow. All right, Caleb Otto went, went down. The JMU crowd is already getting hype. I turn the crowd mic now because they're going to get really, really rowdy really, really quick. And Max go down. Pretty sure that was Evan Essenberg. Doing what he does best, taking people out. Don't look now, but Ohio is on the 10 count. Team throw, not successful. Humphrey, can he get, oh! <laughs> and Hunter Humphrey with the one-handed catch. That will count, and that will bring back my man. Uh, I, I need to get your man. I need to get your name, sir. I cannot keep on calling you the Ohio Shirt man. I can't keep on doing that. That's rude. That's rude and that's disrespectful. All right. I can't keep on doing that. Ooh. Oh, man. All right, so catching out. All right, so I was, um, Andrew got hit, but he made the catch. You got a cover for your teammates. But, uh, yeah, no, that was good. I think that got Patrick back in. All right, let's see what Kurt's going to do. Going against a man with a t-shirt. No dice. Ooh, Austin with the kill. Taking out Kurt, number zero. Evan Essenberg, Brown. Yeah, it was Brown. Yeah, it was Brown. Ooh, drop catch for Frost. Yeah. All right, Jamie is now on the 10 count as well. Schaefer, oh, Schaefer could not catch it. Yeah, Evan Essenberg does not like that. All right, so we got Spear, number 99. We got uh, Evan Essenberg, number 10. We got Patrick, number eight for JMU. Woo! <laughs> we got Hunter Humphrey right here at the bottom, number 15. Uh, 47, Joyce, 25, Austin. A man with the shirt, we still don't know his name. And we got Murray. Number 10. Those are the players left for both teams. All right. Ooh. Oh, not bad. All right, that was in range. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, easy catch for Patrick. Take it out, number 15, Hunter Humphrey. That brings back JT, James Turner, number 10, the lefty from JMU. Esta got out from that team throw. And oh, ooh, no, team catch, team catch. Nope, it's a team catch. It's a team catch. Yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't clean. Actually, actually, no, it wasn't a team catch. 
Well, interesting. Interesting. Like I said, these AMU fans are extremely rowdy. Virtually impossible to hear anything. I mean, like anything at all. Oh, Garrett got saved by C. May Murray. And JT also went down the change. Only two players left Patrick and Spear. Team throw coming up. That also brings back in Terrence. Terrence checking number 77. Woo! Not bad. Mm, oh, that ain't going to count. And Patrick is out. Ball's over. All right. Be right back. Like I said, crowd, it's like, I'm, I'm serious, y'all, like, unless, like, unless, like, y'all play here before, at the Beast Tournament, like, it's a stressful situation for everybody involved. The anxiety, it's like on an all-time high. I'm not playing, y'all. I'm sweating profusely. I don't get stressed out like that anymore, except when I'm at the Beast Tournament. That, like, that's how intense it is up here. It's a tough tournament, man. Tough tournament to play in. Tough tournament to stream on. Ooh, good job by Spear taking out number seven, Daniel. And um, thank you, Ryan, from Ohio, sorry, the Ohio State University. We finally got a name for my man. Good God, too many bullets. And take it out, Hunter Humphrey. And um, good kill right there by Max. 
figured out number one swap. We finally got an answer from my man with the shirt. His name is Logan, and he is um, a rookie, and he was also rookie of the month. And I don't want to get the month wrong, because I don't remember. So, but yeah, we got his name, so thank you, Ryan. Um, one of the captains from the Ohio State University. Now, I might turn up this crowd mic, but if it gets really, really loud, I'm going to have to come back down and like cut it off like immediately. Also, I can't repeat like half of these words that these people are saying. It's not, it's not safe for work or for children. Speaking of which, Terrence Checkin pretty much so Spear, you're a little child to me. I don't care if you're older than me. I'm still grown like you, and I want the smoke. Best believe that Spear is going to get his number. All right, let's see what Joyce going to do. Whoa! Sheesh. Was not ready for that. I might have a little bit of time. Team throw coming up. And Evan Essenberg goes now all to the chains. Great job by Ohio. Doing what they need to do. And I'm pretty sure that Jamie is about to be on the 10 count. After this throw, there it is. And now they're officially on the 10 count. Mm, okay, it's round. Yeah, I, I, might, I might turn up the mic a little bit. I might. Not my mic, the crowd mic. Just so you can see how loud it gets. Obnoxiously loud. Y'all can't be sick. <laughs> and Tyler check it. Being the grown man that he is, he's taking on the pressure of the JMU faithful. Trash talking it all. He told them goodbye. I don't want to see you no more. <laughs> nah, nah, check, nah, check it what this one. Team throw, successful. Mask got lit up. Sorry, Garrett, number 88, got lit up in that exchange. I will say, though, Terrence checking number 77. He is built differently, wearing a lot of responsibilities. Director of Nationals, president, captain. Crazy thing is, he's only a sophomore. But he's a grown, well, I'm not going to curse, but he's a grown you-know-what man. He's taking on the pressure really, really well. Uh-oh. Floss. Oof. Oh, no! No person! He threw it right to Floss. You can't, you can't do that. It's a wrong person, man. And he was in the middle. Dave, you hate to see it. And the JMU fans are letting him know you made a terrible mistake. You made a terrible mistake. Another catch for Floss. Another catch for Floss. He's on fire. Oh, my God. And this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The Beast Tournament is only for the strong and not for the weak of heart. Now I'm completely sweating out of my clothes, and I need a new change of clothes. The anxiety is on an all-time high. Oh, my God. Two back-to-back -back catches for Floss, showing us why he's one of the best catchers, not just for JMU, but also for the East Coast. Yo, I'm sweating profusely. Never sweated this much before, except for Beast and the sauna at 160 plus degrees. Speaking of which, Sean took out number 34, the freshman. Just like that, only two players left, JT and Frost. Oh, there is a catch for JT, and Frost goes down. Sheesh. Three players left for Ohio, two players left. Oh, no! One player left is up to JT. He got to take on Sean. He got to take on Murray. He got to take on Rookie of the Month. I forget which month, Logan. You gotta get rid of this throw. Ball's over. You hate to see it.
Lord Jesus, man. JT got clapped into next week from that brutal team throw from Ohio. Holy smokes. Be right back. So I know the first time that Ohio would win, when they was on this court. Because, you know, I'm an honest person. I'm going to have real conversations. I'm not going to use sarcasm. I'm not going to be saying a whole bunch of stuff that I don't mean. I'm just going to tell her as it is. Ohio knows in the first game, when it was playing against GV, they wasn't playing hashtag no fear. They was playing fearful at times. Ohio, on the other hand, in this game, they're living up to their mantra, hashtag no fear. Okay. You got Terry checking, he wants to smoke. You got Sean number 69, he wants to smoke. You got Max number 17, he wants to smoke. Hashtag no fear. Okay. They're, they're playing like they want to prove something to people. They want, they're playing like somebody stole lunch money from their family and their girlfriends and they're like, we want it back. And we want it back with interest. And we're really, really upset. And they're playing mad and inspired. And when Ohio plays like this, like I told my man Sean, Ohio's going to the Final Four. You heard it here, folks. You, you heard it here, here, you heard it here, first here, folks. Anywho, let's get back. Let's get rolling. All right, here we go. Let's see what Al's gonna do. Nope, never mind. Caleb's gonna throw instead. Shaver pushing up. No dice. Logan, he's pushing up. Al's also pushing up. All right, no dice. Just both teams are just resetting right now. Oh, God! Humphrey took that. And Sean goes out as well. And once again, the JMU faithful letting you know that if you're not for us, you're against us, and we don't like you, and we don't want you here. Thank you and goodbye. That's how it is at JMU. Trying to tell people, man, unless you're from the East Coast, you don't understand. Trash talking is at an all-time high. Disrespect is at an all-time high. Speaking of disrespectful, you did not have to treat number 47 Jones like that. That was not necessary, JMU. My goodness. Team throw coming up on the right-hand side. Let's see who they're going after. They're getting ready. Team throw. Logan goes down. You hate to see it. Okay, so Ohio has three balls they have to throw. They own a 15 second shot clock. I don't know where their shot clock is. It's too loud. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything at all. Austin with the long throw, but it will work. Evan Esabo. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, he threw that with some anger. Mm, yeah, that would count. Good, good reset throw by Terrence. Check it. Team throw not successful. Garrett is Garrett just pretty much put himself in harm's way, but he did what he had to do to secure a ball for his teammates. Team throw on the right hand side not successful. Matt was able to stay alive. Garrett's pushing up very fiercely, but he paid the price because Turk Cohen to go to the bench where you belong. But speaking of which, I'm pretty sure that was Austin taking out number 16 floss from that exchange. Ohio's up two to zero against JMU. Max and Spear throw too many balls. Hopefully, Max, you good? You cramping? 
I hope you're okay, buddy. Evan Essenberg just nonchalant. Just look at that cross. Quintana, check it. That's disrespectful. Trying to cross that far away, Evan Essenberg. Come on now. Ohio is better than that. You're not going to treat Ohio like they're a low tier team. Put some respect on their name. My goodness. Sheesh. Team throw, no team throw, never mind. All right, so both teams now just trading. Nothing. Team throw, not successful. Max by himself, no dice. Both teams just trading it out. I can't see the scoreboard because it's down the ladder and the shot clock and the scoreboard at the facility is not working. As number 12 from JMU goes down that exchange, the number 12 is uh, Florin or, jo or, or Joel. Anywho, we'll, we'll get your name right. Oh, that's a catch. Hold up, they're going to call a timeout on that one. It's debatable because he caught it, and as he caught it, he was going down to the ground, and the ball did hit the ground. Oh, man, hold up, hold up. I'm going to have to stop the clock as the time back. It did hit the ground, but he caught it. He did caught it. He was falling down. But but the Cincy Ruffs are saying that that was a catch. I got to stop the clock. So two Ohio players just went down for that exchange. Jamie, you got to reel in their emotions a bit. I understand they're at home. I understand they're feeding off the energy from the crowd. They're probably one of the very few teams in the league that can actually play extremely well the angrier they get, which is, which is weird because a lot of teams, they're not capable of doing that. But they don't mind being the villain, and they feed off of it. And they use their anger as a weapon, as a very dangerous weapon. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. I play against them too many times to know this. This is one of the reasons why, truthfully, a lot of East Coast players and former East Coast players like myself, we have anger issues. And one of the reasons why is because of the PTSD going against JMU in this environment. Absolutely snag it. Great kill by Schaefer. Take it out number 11 from Ohio. No, you're out. Dude, that hit you by the foot. And we got that at 1080. Not in 4K. Humphrey goes down. Three players left to beat. And you can hear the energy in Harrisonburg, Virginia, and the rec center getting louder and louder and louder with each kill and each catch that JMU gets. And Evan Esselberg won that as a highlight reel against Daniel. Because he drew that with pure animosity. That's just how it is. Successful. Schaefer, he's by himself. Got, he got to wait for his teammates to get set up. All right, there goes Andrew. Now Shea, well, whoa, what the? I wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't it. Team throw, no, he's still safe. But Daniel goes down. All right, it was ground. Two players left, Alex and Terrence. Woo! Terrence did a full 360, man. That was cool. 
like I said, I don't know what the game clock is because it's not fixed on the board. And the running clock, and Alice goes down by exchange. And that's going to do it. And there we go. Jamie is on the board, one to zero. And like I said before, here's the crowd I keep on talking about. Doesn't take a lot of people for them to get fired up, but when they do, they fire up. I want to see how much time there's left. Oh, age, I O, no fear, no fear. As we're making our way towards Ohio University, we travel onto Interstate 56 to the beautiful campus located in Athens, Ohio, where we'll have the 2023 national champion at the Walter Fieldhouse and let us pay tribute to our seniors who participated in a JBBB tournament as fans. And now we'll have Tony Stopo and Kobe Bryson do commentating. Pretty good one-two punch. Nice Ooh, team throw there. Speaking of Janowskis there. Couldn't reel in that catch. And right now it looks like they're going to take advantage of that with some team throws. And there goes Kobe, number 20. That's a big get for them right there. Over there, number 28. He, uh, he put the team on his back uh, for a minute wow. there yesterday. Great hit, number 77, Terrence Checkett. Four players left. Oh, oh no, big solo I, throw. He wanted what did his I just to say? Throw. What did I just say? Okay. And that brings in Caleb Arnold, so that's straightened out. Nice block by Caleb Arnold. He normally would go for that catch. Oh, oh, yep. oh, oh what a catch, right kept the key. foot in bounds. It's now two on two, folks. Yep. Number 32, I believe he's a senior. Uh, oh, and another catch! It's Caleb not Arnold two on one. Another catch here from Nebraska against number 15, Hunter Humphreys, another junior, and Hunter Humphreys gets the final wow. kill. Wow! That point was electric. Janowskis and Stokel with a team throw, and then Stokel gets the catch right there. Stokel and Rupp with a nice team throw takes out. Tommy Egger, holding Janowskis in, controlling everything here. Uh oh, uh oh! Caught him lacking in the neutral out. Out. Had a shot. Wow, and a and catch. catch! Oh, oh no. no! Couldn't reel it in. That was number 32. Now if you're... Oh, Tommy Eggleston! This is the catch. And Ohio takes the lead with under... JMU, go Dukes. As we're making our way towards Interstate I-81 North towards Harrisburg, Virginia, we make our way towards the rec center where the Duke practice. Now let us pay our tribute to our graduated seniors from last season. We have Mac, Jack, Ellie, Zachary, Ben, Michael, Emma, and former captain, Drew Funk. Now, JMU, they're looking to build upon their Final Four run for last season. They are currently tied for first place for the longest active All-American streak in consecutive season with 10 years, 
and have developed 16 All-Americans in their program history. Year in and year out, they are the best that the East has to offer. Don't at me. They are a team that prides themselves with pure domination on the offensive side and timely catching on the defensive side. They will trash talk you early and often. They will intimidate you to see if you really about that life or not. They don't care if you like them or not. They are not here to make friends. They are here to take care of unfinished business and win the championship for the first time in their program's history. Ball. God, Jesus! God! And 24 is... Woo! Never mind, that's a point. I'm going to get some strong catching. And that's another kill. And Jame Use up 4-2-0. And the savagery will continue. And it said, put him on the head. Put him on their head. To the 10 count now. Team throw does not connect, but he slides out of bounds. time we actually got the actual time on the scoreboard actually correct so now we can actually fix it shape it goes down that chains Caleb on a with the kill tell him goodbye see ya all right here we go oh man Great kill right there by Spear. Take it out, number 69, Sean. Sean O'Donnell from that exchange. Woo, head, woo. It was definitely going for my man's face right there. All right, Alex, will that count? It will count. Assisting ref Corey from Cincinnati will count that. Mm. No dice. Reset throw from both teams. Block. Whoa. Oh, great catch by JT. Oh, no. His spear got caught. Looking. He's not paying attention. My goodness. Yeah, we got number 34, Noah. He's a freshman from JMU. Whoa, God, Jesus. Thank God for that net. And Evan Esseberg once again showed us why he is not just the East Coast MVP, but the first ever JMU overall NCDA MVP. Spear. No, no, no. Ball cannot get it. Kurt is out. Whew. Oh, God. And Evan Esselberg told Garrett to go back to Athens, Ohio with that shot. Jesus. Yeah, and Ohio's on the 10 count. We're not even three minutes into this point. And JMU quickly turned this game on its head in this particular point.
Jesus. Oof. Easy catch. God, and Evan Esper paid the price as Logan. The oh! <laughs> yes, a successful catch by who else? Number 65, Jason Ball. I got to stop the time. Got to stop the time real quick. Oh, my God. That was a catch. I repeat, that was a catch. Logan is out for that exchange, and he does not like it. He about to cost his teammate Austin a headshot for arguing with Wes Peters. Terry Checky goes down. Austin goes down. Catch made! Whoa, 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 what happened, what happened? Oh, he's out! Oh, wow! And we're now tied two to two. I thought that was a legitimate catch. But Wes said no, the catch would not count, and he slid out of bounds. You hate to see it. All right, Jesus, a right, great job on number 10, making that catch. Nobody's out, team catch. Easy catch for JT, and he told Terry Chica to go back to Athens, Ohio. The disrespect is real. And JT follow up with a 2v1 combo mirror from Popeye. Take it out, Austin, number 25. Tell him to take this biscuit and no drink. Deal with it. Holy smokes. All right, let's see what Ohio's gonna do. All right, nobody's out. Jones are by himself. Woo! Great kill by number 45 goes down. J J Jones by number one. That's not the right Patrick. No, that's Dickey. Why they gave me the wrong roster? You know what? It's too, it's too, it's too late in the afternoon for that. 
That's not my issue. God, Jesus. And a bystander took a shot. And I know Caleb Otto wanted that shot. He's not even upset that that fraternity brother got clapped in the face. I promise you he will sleep better at night knowing that he put that dog, that Jamie you do dog in its place. The fraternity, that is. That particular fraternity person who's not playing. Woo, man. Good dodge right there by Max. Just escaping from Evan Essenberg. All right. Wow. They're, not, they're saying that was blocked. Curse saying that he's safe. Too many balls for JMU. All right, so we're around to 21, 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Left in his half. Oh, wow, the spear just cut right through. Oh, what a team catch. And he protected his teammate. But speaking of protecting, number 17, Max, made the catch against number 12 from JMU. Another catch was made at the expense of number 37, Andrew, brings back Terrence Cheekit. Check it, my apologies. Tell the play to push, oh my God, Jesus. Evan Essenberg walking all by himself. He does not care about none of these players from Ohio. It's so nonchalant, so disrespectful. Got him. Schaefer taking out Logan. Long throw, long reset throw. Oh, it was successful. Alex, 71 from Ohio, goes down from that cross from JMU. This is what happened against Grand Valley. They wasn't paying attention to the crosses, and that cost them dearly. They got to they gotta pay attention. It's not the first throw that gets them. It's the second and the third throw. We're now under the 20 minute mark. Evan Essenberg going straight after Max. Max can catch too, by the way. He's not just a power thrower. Max can also catch the ball well, extremely well. And Evan Essenberg, he's going to put that to the test. But Caleb R is right there to protect him just in case Evan Essenberg is feeling himself just a little bit too much. Whew. Oh man, and the crowd is saying he got nervous, he got scared. Yeah. Woo! Spear taking down Garrett. I'm trying to tell people, man, like, there's not really a lot of places in the country where home field advantage really means something. This is one of them. I know Saginaw, back in the day, oh, Jason Ball could not secure the catch. Very uncharacteristic of him. Really, JT? That was not needed, my guy. Ohio is an outstanding catching team. Oh, no, Cheeky goes down. And the freshman, out of all people, number 34 from GMU, just a freshman, Noah told Terrence Checkett to go home. Yo, Terrence is older than you, my dude. You can't be, you can't be disrespectful. All right, Max is definitely out in that exchange. Here it comes. Woo! All right, Evan wants this. He wants this. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, my God! And Caleb Otto, oh, no! He gave them the finger. Caleb Otto has snapped, and he gave them the finger. And JT, they broke them. They broke him. Caleb Otto is flicking off. JMU, that's going to be a yellow card. It had to be done. Ohio is broken. JMU's up three to two. The mind games continue. This is what they do to you. Put them on their head, they said. Put them on their head. Put them on their head. That's what JMU is telling you, man. Put them on their head. Lord have mercy, Jesus. They finally did it. They finally did it, y'all. Caleb Otto had a moment of weakness. And JMU made sure that he paid the price. 
my goodness. It was only a matter of time before that was going to happen. I'm trying to tell you, man, folks do not understand. Folks do not understand how stressful it is to play in this environment. I keep on trying to tell people, man, you don't understand. I can say this confidently, and every East Coast player will vouch for me. We, overall, I, I care about you. Sorry about that. I thought JV had scored that point. Like I was saying beforehand, I'm trying to tell people, man, the East Coast, like, I'm one of those very few people. The East Coast do not care about your feelings. So like I was saying beforehand, because it, it got really crazy, borderline toxic, borderline disrespectful, right? But I can say this confidently as a former East Coast player, we do not care about your feelings. You watched the promo video from JMU. I'm from BCU. I, I don't have a dog in this fight, okay? I'm just, I'm just being very transparent. I'm going to be very honest. That's just who I am as a person. That's what requires me at my job and my career and, you know, as a businessman, okay? The East Coast do not care about your feelings. The East Coast is not about making friends. And JMU is at the head of the table. If you watch WWE, Roman Reigns, he's at the head of the table. JMU is at the head of the table on the East Coast. They have always been that way. Now, granted, they lost to Penn State, so, you know, that's going to be a discussion. And, you know, this little rivalry that they're having is going to get real interesting, right? But I can say this confidently, as an alumni, the East Coast do not care about your feelings. And JMU especially do not care about your feelings. They don't care if they make you cry. They don't care if you're hurt. They don't care if you are offended. They want you to know we don't like you. We will never like you, and we do not want to be your friend. And JMU players would be like, yup, Chidi, you're absolutely right. And I play against them too many times. Too many times. I play against them too many times. Now we got some of the Towson players. Yup, and there's the animosity, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. That animosity has boiled all the way over. All the way over now. Animosity is at an all-time high. Great catch by Daniel, taking out JT. If Ohio's gonna win this game, they have to play with no fear. They have to play with no fear. That's the only way. Drop catch. Andrew took out Daniel from that exchange. We're under the 17 minute mark now. Good block by Alex. Sheesh. And they're going right at Logan too. Just barking at him. Very disrespectful. Basically just treated him like a child. Not me, headshot, Lord Jesus. Listen, this is not me. This is not me saying this, y'all. I, I want to be very clear. I'm saying the appropriate version of what they're saying. I cannot repeat what they're saying. 
easy catch for Jason Ball. Terrible mistake for Terry Checkett. And he told him to go back home to Athens, Ohio. Best believe these two teams are going to be playing very soon, either at the World Tournament, if they're going. Great catch by Jones, taking out number zero, Kirk. I want these two teams to play. I want these two teams to play against each other, if not at war, at nationals. Because at, because Ohio is going to be at home, and I promise you, this catch right there for Sean. Oh, Brock could not help him. Spear goes down out of James. Great job by Hunter Humphrey and number 47 Jones, keeping him distracted. Noah, the freshman. Great block. Oh, no. And Logan goes down. Shame you favor telling him to go back to the bench where you belong. And like I said, I'm only repeating the PG version. I'm not repeating the rated R version. I'm just paraphrasing. These are not my words. I'm just paraphrasing. No disrespect towards Ohio University. They are, they are great people. I just want to be very clear about it. All right, so let's see. So JMU has more than six players. Ohio has exactly six. If they lose another player, they'll be on the 10 count, and there it is. Hunter Humphrey goes down. Five players for Ohio. The next throw, now he doesn't have to throw because they have less than a, God, that's terrible. Austin goes down. Okay. Okay, too many balls for JMU. They don't care at this point. Oh, Patrick could not get it. All right, so now Ohio is on the 10 count. Team throw. Oh, no, it's ground. He's like, nah. He's like, nope, that's not a catch. I have a ball went down at a chain. Oh, no, Max dropped it. He had it all the way. And he dropped it. And he knew that, man. He had that catch. He had that catch. T throw. Only one person threw it. That was Noah. Dickie was not ready. T throw. Got him. Wait, can he get it? No, he would not get it. I thought Jones had a chance, but he got, oh, yes. That is a catch. Jones got Daniel back in, number seven. Like, I'm glad that's all they're doing right now. Just out here, just barking, barking at the, at the Bobcats. Sheesh. All right, we're about to hit under the 13 minute mark. Uh oh, that reset would not work. That, ooh, <laughs> ooh, that was close. All right, whatever. Team throw coming up. Well, never mind. That was a terrible mistake by Noah. As number 11 for my hires is pretty much told him, that was a terrible mistake. Why would you throw it right at my chest? You don't even lift. That's pretty much what he told him. Again, paraphrasing. I can't repeat what is actually being said. All right, so both teams now will be on the 10 count. Both teams now. And Alex is back in thanks to that catch. That was much needed. Too high. Good block. Oh, no. That's an easy catch. Oh, but Jones never saw it coming. 4v4 four four for both teams. But that catch brought in Terrence Checkett back in the game. And I promise you, he wanted to put these Dukes in their place and put it back in the doghouse where they belong. I promise you. He just need one shot, and he will give them a headshot. They will remember. Andrew just pretty much saying, come at me. He gave up his ball. Pretty much going to sacrifice his body for a catch if they throw it towards him. Uh-oh. That was close. Oh, 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 oh. Ball's over. Ball's over. Against who, though? Against who, though? Will... Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to get the clock straight. I just need to figure out what the call is first. It's 11.38 in the second half. Oh, 
Okay, so it seems like it's gonna be balls over against Jam here. All right, cool. We got it. I'm gonna set the clock and we'll get it straight, and then we'll be rolling. Jesus. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Time out? Time out. Okay. Time out. Oh God, terrible mistake. Andrew almost got caught slipping on that one. Ground. Andrew safe. Oh my God. We're under the 11 minute mark now. Patrick said, I think they made a substitution. Ooh. Okay. So what happened was James U had less than three balls. They did not have to throw in that situation. Mm, oh, that would count. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. They're going for so hard to come after them. Patrick just said, Schaefer said, Dickey said. Woo. He's safe. And um, Andrew's in. So you really got, um, you really got four solid catchers. He's here, he's in, he's in. And Terry Checkin goes out in that exchange. And uh oh, it's Evan Esselberg, y'all. Lord have mercy, Jesus. It's Evan Esselberg. That, Evan Esselberg's in, y'all. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Ohio needs this point. And I think they know it. Oh, drop catch by Andrew. Great job by Alex. Take it out, number 37, Andrew from JMU. Four players left, three players left for Ohio, four players left for JMU. Daniel, number 11, Brienne, and number 70, and 71, Alex. They're going to have to reset the clock. I was going to throw. That will work. It will work. They will count that one. He got to throw. He got to throw. He got to throw. That will work. Here it comes. Moment of truth. Block. Ball silver goes against Ohio. Terrible mistake. They was not paying attention. Daniel, put it on your head and deal with it. 
Alex goes down, one play left to beat. Jamie told them to put him on your head. And just like that, four to two in favor of JMU. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And the barking has become even more obnoxious than it was before. My goodness. All right, so JMU is up four to two. If Ohio has any chance of coming back into this game, as the disrespect for JMU continues, they have to score four, they have to score a point within four minutes each time. Which means they're gonna have to play aggressive. Jesus, he got clapped. Evan Essenberg clapped number 17 max. Sit up to next week. Sheesh. This could get ugly. Hopefully my tripod is safe. I mean, I do have a warrant on it because Ben Smart is using the other tripod. And, oh my God. Because uh, Ben Smart is using the other tripod in my Osmo. Osmo 3 does not have a warranty. Um, here we go. Sheesh. Okay, Spirit, tell me how you really feel. All right, we're now under the seven minute mark. That's disrespectful. There's no need they had to do across that far away. But that's how they really feel towards Ohio. That's how they really feel. They're disrespecting them so much that you literally got Evan Essenberg company pretty much drawing love from the back line and hitting, and hitting Ohio because they're not paying attention. That's like top tier disrespectful. That's top tier disrespectful right there, ladies and gentlemen. And to give you a reference point, you know, back line is like around 94 feet. So you're pretty much lobbing 90 plus feet from one, one side of the court to another as um, Logan and um, Kurt from Ohio and JMU respectfully goes out. Evan Essenberg still drawing lobs towards these people. That's so disrespectful, dude. That's high too disrespectful if I've ever seen one in my life. Great catch though by Daniel. Come on, Shaper, you know better than that. Yeah, I know, buddy. But Daniel can catch. The whole team can catch. The entire team can catch, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, Ohio can catch. Woo! Yeah, Alex went down that change. Team throw. Yeah, he got out of the change. 
unless something changed drastically, Ohio's walking away. Oh man, Andrew with another missed catch. And Evan Essenberg is still drawing lobs. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Jesus. Can't, I can't take Evan Essenberg anywhere. Cannot take him anywhere, man. All right, good attempt right there by Sean. Another lob. Almost caught Hunter Humphrey sleeping. Not bad. Not bad, Austin. That was a good throw. A good reset throw to give your teammates a chance to get back. But, yeah, I think, oh, good kill right there by Sean. Take it out, Eli, number 23 from JMU. I'm very positive these two teams are going to play again. Very positive. Uh, mm, okay. All right, so Ohio is on, they're not on the tank count. They got exactly six players. JMU has more than six. If Ohio loses another player after the uh, after their next row, they'll be on the ten count. That's too close, dude. So, Sean, I forgot to tell you, JT, if you're in his range, which is like um, close range to mid range, you know, you're too close, and he's he's going to just try to spear right through you. No pun intended to number 99, Nick Spears who also has a tendency of just going straight to the opponent. And Spear got caught sleeping on the job. He's going to hate himself. He's going to hate me for that clip, too. But I promise you, Ohio will love it. We're now under the 3, 330, 330, under 330. My apologies. That's not going to count. That will count. Block. Long throw. Another long throw. Oh boy, okay. Great job by Terrence. Yes, Austin wanted that kill, took out Evan Essenberg. Wait, what? No, 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 what, what happened? Oh God, okay. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Jason Bull with another catch, and he goes, no, Floss goes down. Evan Asenberg, did he get it? I think he got it, the catch is good, and we caught it on camera. It's a catch it out, it is a catch it out, but Evan Asenberg was able to get it. I got you, I got the I got the clip. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's beyond crazy this point. Three points left for Ohio. Daniel, Caleb, Humphrey, that's it, two minutes left. I think JMU wants this point to set a statement to all of Ohio University and the state of Ohio. I think they want this point personally. The game is won. That's irrelevant. I think it's just I think it's just personal pride at this point. 
because they're still playing for this point. All right, we're under the 130 mark now. Like I said, no matter what happens, Ohio, they're not going to win this game. That's, that's a new point at this point. It's been a long time since Ohio um, was on the negative end at a tournament, losing two games. Dude, come on. Just, dude, like, if you got to make the call, just make the call. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just tell him to go out. Just, 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 just get off the court. Just get off the court. Well, under a minute. Well, under a minute at this point. Okay. All right, time out, time out, time out. Like I said, it's just personal pride at this point. Give us a show. Nah, that's not a catch. That's not a catch. We're about to hit under the 30-second mark soon. Team throw successful. Auto goes down. One play left to beat. Okay. Auto Humphrey. This is just pride at this point. Oh, God. And that's it. It's over. It's over. 5-2 victory goes to JMU. And the disrespect continues. And now they're telling Ohio, have a safe trip back to Athens, Ohio. Please go home. We'll see you again next year if they ever come back to the beast. Jesus. <laughs> Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time.